Okay, the first two terms in a binomial expansion are shown below. We have a plus b raised to 3. As we learned, we have 1, and then we have 1, 1, and then we have 1, 2, 1, and then we have for the 3, third raised to 3, we have 1, 3, 3, 1. That is what we're going to do. So here, this is, I can say that this is 2 raised to 3, that's 8. And here we have, it should be 2 raised to 2 multiplied by uh, e raised to x. This is 4, and we have 3 there. Okay, so that means our a is equal to uh, 2. And our b is e raised to x. So if, if we expand this now, plus we have 3 multiplied by uh, a, which is 2 multiplied by e raised to x raised to 2 plus uh, e raised to x raised to 3. So we have 8 plus 12 e raised to x plus 6 e raised to 2x plus e raised to 3x. More example, expand and simplify. We'll start with a, then we have is equal to, we have 1 raised to 3 plus 3 multiplied by 1 raised to 2 multiplied by the square root of 2 plus we have 3 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2 raised to, square root of 2 raised to 2 plus square root of 2 raised to 3. And then we have 1 plus, this is 3 square root of 2 plus 3 multiplied by 2, this is now equal to 2, plus square root of 3. Ah, where did I get that? Square root of 8 actually. 8 and then we have that is 6 plus 1 that we have 7 plus 3 squared of 2 plus this one that is actually squared of squared of 8 is actually squared of 4 times 2 mm -hmm. so that is 2 is squared of 2 so we have um, 7 plus common factor, square root of 2, then we have 3 plus 2. So we have 7 plus 5 times square root of 2. Another, we have b. Uh, I'm going to write here 1 and then 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Okay? So because it's raised to 4. Then we have square root of 5 raised to 4 plus 4 times square root of 5 raised to 3 uh, multiplied by 2 plus 6 multiplied by square root of 5 raised to 2 multiplied by 2 raised to 2 plus 4 multiplied by square root of 5 multiplied by 2 raised to 3 and then we have 2 raised to 4 simplify we have square root of we have 25 times 25 this is actually 
5 raised to 4 if you um, I'll, yeah okay it's all right to do that and then we have 4 times oh 8 now it is 8 here 8 multi multiplied by the square root of 5 raised to 3 plus 4 times 6 so we have 24 multiplied by the square root of 5 raised to 2 or 5 squared plus 8 times 4 is 32 times the square root of 5 plus 2 raised to 4 is 16. Well this one is we have this one we have 25 actually raised to 2 so that means it is 25 plus we have 8 times the square root of 125 or if you want I will write it here instead that's 25 times 5 that is plus they are they take each other 24 times 5 plus 32 square root of 5 plus 16 so that's 25 and then we have plus 8 times 5 squared of 5 plus 24 times 5 24 times 5 huh, 24 times 5 that's 120 plus 32 squared of 5 plus 16 okay now we can sim simplify this is 40 plus 32 that's 72 square root of 5 and then we have uh, 25 plus 120 25 plus 120 plus 16 that's 161 plus and then our last example we have that's raised to 5 then I have one five ten ten five one that is what we have so our C now I will use another color is equal to we have two raised to five plus two raised uh, 5 it should be 5 multiplied by 2 raised to 4 multiplied by negative square root of 2 plus uh, 10 multiplied by 2 raised to 3 multiplied by negative square root of 2 raised to 2 plus we have 10 multiplied by 2 raised to 2 multiplied by negative square root of 2 raised to 3 plus 5 multiplied by 2 multiplied by negative square root of 2 raised to 4 plus we have now negative square root of 2 raised to 5 okay then we have 2 raised to 5 is 32 plus 2 raised to 4 is 16 times 5 that's 80 multiplied by square root of negative 2 then it should be negative 80 square root of 2 and then plus 10 multiplied by 8 then 80 and it is positive times times 2 plus this one now um, I will write it here square root of 2 raised to 3 is the same as square root of 2 raised to 2 minus 2 so we have 2 square root of 2 so we have 
40 40 multiplied by 2 is squared of 2 plus this one now 10 squared of 2 raised to 4 is the same as and that's 16 actually so that is squared of 4 raised to 2 actually but if you want to see we have uh, 2 raised to 4 then we have 2 raised to 2 eh, 2 raised to 2 then we have 4 we have 16 there we have 4 also so plus we have 10 multiplied by that's positive multiplied by 4 minus uh, I think I did the wrong here this should be negative because this one oh sorry because of this one we have negative that okay and the last we have squared of 2 raised to 5 then we have 2 raised to 4 times 2 then that is 16 we have 4 squared of 2 minus 4 squared of 2 and then we have 32 plus 160 plus uh, 40 minus we have 80 plus 40 plus 4 times the square root of 2 all with the square root of 2 and then we have 200 232 minus 124 square root of 2 after looking at my solution I could see now that I have a problem here that is 80 this should be 80 and this should be 164 hmm? and I will stay there in my next video I will be discussing the factorial notation uh, why it is important to discuss factorial notation first uh, before the binomial coefficient is that it involves factorial as you can see the formula here then it's good to to review first the factorial notation and as i've said thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon also have a nice day